Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome. And thank you for the lively music from Huntsville High School Band. Thank y'all so much. Let's give them a round of applause. We appreciate our musicians and to director Stuart Tankersley, Tankersley uh, has helped us get in the spirit for today. And that has been great. Thank y'all so much for all that you've done. And to each of you, welcome to the William Hooper Council Memorial Park. This park has been a long time coming and we have been waiting a long time for this day. It started back in the day with Dr. Showers, passed on to the next representative, Devin Keith, and today we have finally come to a fitting final day. Uh, Michelle Jordan, who is back there, was our planner with the city of Huntsville. I think the second day on her job, she was uh, meeting and coming through this, uh, the building here, and we're trying to figure out what we could save and what we couldn't save. And Michelle was one of the shepherds that helped shepherd this whole process along. You know, this, this Council High continues to teach each of us lessons about courage, about inclusion, about respect and respecting those who went to school here who were a generation that made a difference in this city. This Memorial Park would not have been made possible without the pers perseverance and the vision of the William Hooper Council High School Alumni Association. Ms. Chun, thank you. If you are a member of that association, if you would please stand so we can recognize you because y'all have done a wonderful job. I remember we had a banquet for the association. We were raising money to do this project right here. And I almost got into a bidding war with Laura Hall, which I couldn't afford to do because she had state money and I had city money. Uh, Ms. Hall, thank you for your contributions. You know, also we want to thank the landscape architect, Chad Bostick. He listened and he really thoughtfully memorialized the space of Council High. And to our city's general service director, Ricky Wilkinson. Ricky, where are you? Raise your hand. There you are. Ricky was the one who brought this thing finally to fruition, got it built, and did a great job with it, uh, watching over it day to day. And to John Hamilton. John, John's back there. John shepherded this thing through to make sure that we had everything that was necessary. And there were also hundreds of city employees who worked. And I'm really proud of what we have been able to accomplish right here. This park is beautiful and is filled with meaning. Every aspect represents some part of Council High's rich and storied history. The front doorway is near the school's original point of entry. And the steps leading up to the front door are the ones from the, school, from the old school building. The only steps available to an education for black children in a time of a racially segregated Huntsville. You will notice that there are red bricks throughout the park and they're from the Council High building, from the original Council High buildings. There are picnic tables in what was the lunchroom. And coming soon, there'll be a bronze statue of Dr. William Hooper Council. So today is something that I really wanna say is a homecoming and a graduation. It's about our journey and it's about new beginnings. And the city of Huntsville is honored to present this park to the Council High Alumni Association and to our community. It will be maintained and supported by the city's Parks and Recreation Department. And we'll hear in a few minutes from our Parks and Parks Director, Steve Ivey, in just a moment. And you'll note other speakers today. They include Council President Devin Keith and Brenda Chun, who was president of the Alumni Association and did yeoman's work to make sure that this happened today. She was also a former principal at Lee High School, and we can tell how she was a former principal because she told each of us to sit down and let's get to work, and she would shake her finger at us when we did. So she knew the importance of education, but she also knew the importance of getting work done. So before we continue with our program, I would like to ask the Reverend Randy Kelly of Lakeside United Methodist Church to lead us in a prayer. Let's pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this memorial, 
of William Hooper Council, as well as the visionary members of Lakeside United Methodist Church, who had the vision to establish the first city-supported school in Huntsville. And Lord God, we thank you for the work of William Hooper Council. And we thank you for this vision which has morphed or culminated in Alabama A&M University on the same plot of land where you sold out a slave. Lord God, we thank you for the many religious, political, civil rights, business, and other leaders that has not only impacted Huntsville, but has impacted this state, nation, and the world. Lord God, we pray that this memorial serve as a constant reminder of our sacred task to build the kingdom of God on earth as it is in heaven. These are the blessings we claim in the mighty name of our Lord, our liberator, and our savior. Let us all say, amen. amen. Well, good evening, or good afternoon. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say. I think this is the moment I love to say, God is good, amen. and all the time. I thought you were gonna say that one, Reverend. I just wanna be very brief, but maybe poignant. First, I wanna say God's timing is so unique. As monuments that were erected to show supremacy and intentionally put to intimidate a group of people are being taken down, we stand in a moment, cutting a ribbon in a very diverse crowd with intentionality, erecting a monument to show the beauty and the birth there is of graduates, not only of this school, but individuals who had impact on the city of Huntsville as a whole. And for that, you deserve a round of applause. I would be remiss if I do not give and pay homage to the young man who started this work. As I picked up the baton two and a half years ago and listened to Miss Young Brenda Chun, the titan that came before me and the reason that I could stand in this position that is Dr. Richard Showers. But I want to say this and I will take my seat. To all of you graduates, to those individuals who are here who are connected to the project, there's a sense of pride for somebody like me. As I sit on this stage and I do feel like I'm one of the oldest with five gray hairs, I can promise you there's this doubt that young folks don't understand the importance of legacy. But what I can promise you is, from those individuals who sit in front of me now, as you remember the little knucklehead, I am still a knucklehead, but there's a legacy of young individuals who draw from the wells of wisdom that is your life, your example, and who you are to us. We enjoy moments like this because this gives us the belief that our future could have an impact such as yours. So from the bottom of my heart, for every millennial, zillennial, and all the above, I say congratulations to you. And I promise you, we will continue to carry the torch that you burned so long ago. God bless you all, and congratulations. Parks and Recreation Department is proud to play a part in this day. It's been coming for many years. I'd like to thank the mayor, the city councilman, John Hamilton, Michelle Jordan, numerous city employees, the member of, members of the Council Alumni Association for their commitment to this project. I'd also like to thank Andy Kelly for donating the original steps. We're looking forward to this for a long time, and we know the residents of Huntsville will enjoy this part for many years to come. Uh, I want to say uh, and add my welcome to each of you for coming out today and say good afternoon. Uh, needless to say, this is a very, very happy day for me. And fortunately, my task in greeting you this afternoon has been made so easy because so many names have been called uh, during previous uh, recognitions. And so uh, it's going to make my job real short and easy. Now some people don't think I can be short and easy, but I can. <laughs> <And> so, <laughs> 
that's my challenge now. <laughs> uh, in telling you that this is a happy day, it really is an understatement because as a retired educator, 40 years between New York, uh, Baltimore, and Huntsville, uh, I've, I've just about seen what there is to see. But in my life experience, I thought, you're going to go back to Huntsville, and when you do, you're going to make a contribution in education, if you can, and you're going to help the community uh, to learn and grow, because that's what educators do. And so talk about batons being passed. I had the good fortune to have the baton of the William Hooper Council High School Alumni Association pass to me from graduates of the school who had um, worked since the school closed to have something on this site that we could all be proud of. And so I picked up that baton when it was passed to me and uh, we're crossing that finish line today. And so it, it's just a very, very happy day for me because um, as an educator, my early experiences were in trying to find those people who made a difference in community life and development. And I actually left Huntsville in search of, of uh, W.E.B. Du Bois at Fisk University in Nashville. And uh, one of my Fisk alums there giving me that high five. <laughs> um, little did I know or appreciate William Hooper Council. And I went to Council High. I graduated in the last class right here in Huntsville, Alabama. We've had a giant in our midst. And so today, we take the opportunity to look back on community development and uh, here in Huntsville to recognize contributions that were made and to express our gratitude and appreciation for those contributions. In particular, understanding how much this was a whole community effort. It wasn't a black Huntsville, white Huntsville, it was all of Huntsville. And that's the Huntsville that I know. And I will confess, out of all of the places that I've been and lived and worked and grown, it is the Huntsville that I love. And so today we're here for William Hooper Council High School alumni and, and the Memorial Park. And I do want to say that obviously in doing a project like this, as an educator, we often uh, present short-term projects and then long-term projects. This was a long, long-term project. <laughs> and so now that it's culminating, I can honestly say that we've had an opportunity to know who our friends are. And so, Mayor Battle, Councilman Key, I just cannot tell you how appreciative we are of your leadership, members of the City Council, and the citizens of Huntsville. Let's give ourselves a big round of applause. Thank you. Thank you for investing in council again. And um, I was touring the park this week with one of the fellow uh, officers of the association and he said, you know, uh, we have known when the last class graduated in 1966 that this was a special place and it would have to have a special purpose and we committed to that. And um, this individual said, and I agree, we have had better than we ever could have expected to work on this project. So the respect 
the passion, the devotion to the task. We could not have asked for a better team uh, from the city of Huntsville, Parks and Recreation, uh, Chad Bostic, our engineer, and again, these names were called earlier, and so I, Steve Ivey, uh, I just really can say that we could not have asked for better. And then there are more friends that we, uh, that joined with us as we went along the way. The problem when you start calling names is that you leave someone out, so all of you, you're here because you are our friends. And so we do acknowledge that. But I, uh, the Huntsville Library, uh, uh, if what you don't find in the park, you will find digitized in the Huntsville Library. We have representatives raise your hand from the library department. They are our friends. They worked with us to take photographs from the historic William Hooper Council High School to make them available for all of the, the citizens of Huntsville. Uh, we have had um, in the community um, Redstone Federal Credit Union invested in the Alumni Association and I really have to say that. Uh, is anyone here from Redstone? Can you just wave and uh, let us say hello to you uh, with a generous gift from Redstone? Redstone. And, uh, Dianetics. We do have representatives from Dianetics. Can you, we see who, where you are. Thank you for being here. Our friends are all throughout the audience. And so I'm calling a few names. Uh, elected officials in the state of Alabama and uh, Miss Laura Hall and Mr. Anthony Daniels. You have to wave so we can see that you are here. All right, thank you. Are there any other elected officials here with us today? Who? Oh, Rex Reynolds, yes, hi. Mike McCutcheon, Mac McCutcheon, Mike Ball, okay. Am I missing one? Huh? Okay. All right, thank you. We want to acknowledge your presence and your support on what has been a tremendous undertaking over the uh, years and months. So thank you all for being here. And um, I really cannot take my seat without asking the executive committee of the William Hooper Council Alumni Association to please stand and let us see who you are and recognize you. There's Paul Langford, uh, Arthur Green, Tommy Batts. Thank you for the opportunity to represent you in uh, this great undertaking. And I really have to say that uh, today is a day for all of the graduates uh, and the students who attended William Hooper Council High School. When I think about as children how far we had to come to go to William Hooper Council High School, what we endured in that experience and the outcomes that were generated, it, uh, it just leaves me in awe. And so I will say to each and every student of the school, person who worked at the school, staff of the school, then and now, Huntsville thanks you for what you did in that time to grow the city of Huntsville. We have a wonderful alumni association and um, I have to confess, we're all senior citizens. The youngest graduate of Council High is my age, and I know I'm a senior citizen. We're senior citizens now, and so I think, uh, Councilman Keith, what did you call us? The, the senior people? Seasoned, seasoned, seasoned people or seasoned. something like that. Yes, yes. And so in that spirit, we have taken the opportunity to uh, establish, because we know 
that our eyes will dim and our ability will not go on forever to establish uh, a legacy alumni. And I have members here of our legacy alumni. Would you wave? These are our children and our uh, grandchildren. And while it is emerging, we do hope that the legacy of William Hooper Council High School will go on and on and on. So thank you. And I'm so happy to see all of you here today. Thank you. We uh, wanted to think of a way to uh, recognize Dr. Council and to honor him today and what his contribution was to our community and uh, continues to be to our community. And so um, two of our alums created a litany of remembrance for Dr. William Hooper Council. And so I'm going to ask to join me now. I will speak to represent the William Hooper Council High School Alumni Association. Albert Drake, if you will come forward. Uh, Mr. Drake is going to speak to represent council training uh, Alumni Association. He is the president of Council Training Alumni Association. Reverend Maurice Wright, would you come forward and uh, stand with me? Uh, Reverend Wright is the pastor, the senior pastor of St. John AME Church. And St. John is the church in our community founded by William Hooper Council. And um, not least, but last, President Andrew Hugeni. Would you stand with us, please? And uh, this is a historic moment because William Hooper Council was instrumental in each of our institutions. Uh, we'll tell you about that in the litany, but to say that his legacy lives on is no understatement. And so at this time and in your programs, you will have a litany of remembrance. And this is a time when we would like to remember William Hooper and pay tribute to Dr. Reverend Dr. William Hooper Council. We honor his well-spent life and we remember his legacy. The leaders will read their section and if you would respond as in the all uh, category. Oh, hear the prayers of Reverend Dr. William Hooper Council. God, I lift my hands to you. Lead me on and make me wise. Please break these slavery chains and I will do all you advise. Equip me as one who is chosen to help those in bondage be set free and enlighten souls and minds. God of our weary years, God of our silent tears, you have led us into the light. Thank you, Lord, for bringing William Hooper Council from the Huntsville, Alabama Green Bottom Auction Block and allowing him to become one who was free to practice as a lawyer, a politician, writer, minister, and educator. Lord, you said there was more in store and you led him to have two high schools bearing his name. We praise your name, Lord, for all that was accomplished at William Hooper Council High School from 1867 to 1966. Thank you who, who brought us from a way. 
we will remain steadfast. Thank God for our hope at last. In 1919, the first council training school, a three-room structure, was erected to accommodate African-American students in grades one through six. Built with funds from the Julius Rosenwald Foundation, the building set at foot of the hill of Alabama a &M. The dedicated teachers of council training school nurtured civic leaders, pastors, doctors, technicians, administrators, and writers, including Alex Haley, the author of Roots, and the autobiography of Malcolm X. Council training closed its doors in 1970. On May 5, 2002, a historical marker was dedicated in memory of Council Training High School. Two William Hooper Council High Schools, two State of Alabama historical markers. Thank you, God has brought us thus far on the way. Keep us forever in the path we pray. Dr. William Hooper Council created the path that led to the organization of St. John AME Church Huntsville in 1885. He became an ordained itinerant elder in the African Methodist Episcopal Church, serving as one of the many ministers of St. John AME. As he raised institutions to make men wise, he was also a shepherd teaching the word of God so spiritual growth would be realized. To the glory of God and in honor of our founder, St. John AME Church has stayed on the path set by Dr. William Hooper Council. Out from the gloomy past till now we stand at last. Thank you. The Huntsville community has been and will continue to be the beneficiaries of Dr. Council's decision to ground the community in faith. Faith like that in Romans 10 and 17. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. All souls will grow strong together as we live out this faith. Thank you, Dr. Council, our Alabama Agricultural Mechanical University founder, wanted to teach and reach others. He did not walk above others, but served and trained others so that they could rise above adversity. Service is sovereignty, are the words that he left as a legacy. As Dr. Council read for the law, he fought for the law to mend the racial divide. He has been referred to as the greatest Negro the race ever produced. Thank you for allowing me to honor Dr. William Hooper Council and Alabama A&M University. Thank you, thank you God, and amen. Alabama A&M University, a dynamic and progressive institution, has a strong commitment to academic excellence. The campus is still located on what was long referred to as the Hill, where academics, sports, and the marching maroon and white band are also ears to the William Hooper Council legacy. Amen, 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 amen. and amen.
It's wonderful to be here with you today. I'm Donna Castellano, and I'm the Executive Director of Historic Huntsville Foundation. And on behalf of Historic Huntsville Foundation, I would like to thank the Council High Alumni Association and the City of Huntsville for bringing this wonderful space for us here today to honor the legacy of Council High. I visited the park yesterday, and I was very moved by the displays dedicated to the principals, to the teachers, even the cafeteria workers who came to this school every day committed to giving their students the best education possible. And their success is seen in the display panels around the school, around this park, that show smiling faces, and also a panel dedicated to the notable graduates, those people who left that school and went out and changed the world for the better. But in our opinion, this does not even scratch the surface of Council High's legacy. The dedication of this park is just a chapter in the story of Council's High legacy. There is a book left to be written about all that Council High graduates did, the contributions they made to our world, and the contributions they made to our city. To Brenda and the other uh, alumni members of, alum of uh, Council High, we pledge the historic uh, his, the Historic Huntsville Foundation pledges to help tell that story and we're going to make good on that down payment. We anticipate that within April or May of 2021 we will be back here to dedicate a memorial to the first six black women who voted in Madison County, all of whom were associated with Council High. Thank you so much. We're going to have the alma mater. Tommy, can you come up? Yes. Um, we've done our alma mater in so many uh, versions. And uh, I thought in the park, how wonderful if we could do something new. Tommy Friend is um, the child of uh, council. Well, I'm a child of council, but my last name is Friend, so I'm a child of Arinthia Friend. And Orinthia, Annie, and James friend. friend. Okay. And so he's our own. He said, Miss John, I'm not going to even charge you all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, now I got all these witnesses out here. <laughs> so let's enjoy the saxophonist rendition of our alma mater. You know, feel free to sing along if you want to. He's been tutored by our illustrious Mary Curry. Where is Mary? I saw Mary is right there. I thank you, Mary. I said to her when I sent her an email back, I said, he has no idea what good hands he's in. <laughs> so uh, enjoy Tommy Friend and the alma mater. Let's please stand for the alma mater of the school. Thank you. 
Good afternoon. Let us pray. <clears throat> Holy Father, we thank you for all of the events leading to this momentous occasion. It has been evident that the same Holy Spirit that stirred up the founders of this great school in 1867 has been at work in the lives of the teachers, the parents, administrators, and supporters to continue the educational process for 99 years. Even when closed in 1966, your Holy Spirit continued to work through the William Hooper Council Alumni Association, the city of Huntsville, and the community partners to establish this beautiful park that we proudly open today. So we beg you for your love, your mercy, and your grace to guide us successfully through phases two and phases three. It's in Jesus' name that we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> thank you, Mr. McDonald, for that beautiful prayer. And now we come to the moment that we've all been waiting for today. Let's cut a ribbon and officially open William Hooper Council Memorial Park. Ready? Yes, sir. Thank you. 